Okay, so I've got the uh, carburetor on it, new gas line on it. What a pain to uh, snake it through between the flywheel and the uh, the engine or the you know the jug. It uh, this this hose significantly smaller in diameter, even though it's quarter inch than the hose I. The hose I got. So, well, let's give it a let's give it a first start. See if it starts. It's got gas. I put a push pull on it. I've got tools scattered everywhere as normal. All right, and I got a lead cord just in case you have to use like to start. Let's see. Oh, we're starting. some chalk. Consider that success. Still put the covers back. Ooh, let's see. Don't drop the camera. Still have to put the uh, there's a little bracket that goes right here that I drilled out, but I couldn't get to the uh, couldn't get to the uh, adjustment screw with it on, so I took it off. Um, yeah, there's supposed to be a throttle cable that runs from here over a short one I'll have to pick one up ah, let's see now I think I have one I think I have a throttle cable I can use just as long as this is good under here it is uh, I can make one up relatively quickly just a lawnmower uh, cable for uh, uh, throttle so I'll put a little screw a little screw wow that's hot little screw right here and a holder and then it runs down and it looks like it it hooks in it hooks in behind that right there see that lever going up and down and there's a little bit of adjustment right here must be for throttle too uh, I'll have to fine-tune it a little bit that's not, not leaking any gas I am going to replace the shutoff on here because the shutoff is dripping a little bit. Oh, it stopped. But it, when I cleaned it, it was full of junk. And when uh, uh, there was a little piece of a rubber gasket came out of there, so it doesn't really shut off completely. So I think they're about, what, four bucks. So I'll get one. Uh, let's just see if the... Uh, let's see if the electric start works on it. I had this ready just in case I had to pull it over quite a few times. 
And I got so what I did was I have it pushed down for on. So like if you're blowing snow and you bump it, you won't shut it off. Pull it up, shut it off. So we want it up for off right now. Just want to see if it'll spin it over. Let's see if it'll start on it. Yep, I'd say that works too. So, so what I'll do is, uh, what I'm gonna do is I've gotta uh, play with the linkage on the uh, handle for the, uh, for the, oh, sorry, that right there, that's sticking. Uh, it was sticking when I got it. I had to use a hammer and penetrating oil just to get it to move so I could roll it on its own free will because it was stuck in gear. Same with this, I better put some, oh, put some, put some stuff on that. Hey, does that even work? Let's try that. So, it does work. So the chute went around and I saw the fan spinning. So, there we go. So, I got to check the uh, fluid oil in the front, front differential. And I fixed the tire, I believe. I used this stuff, I bought it off eBay a while ago. I've used it a couple times. Tire jet. Just put it in this applicator, applicator, application. App there we go, spit it out. So we put it in this little syringe, there we go. And uh, tongue twister. So I still have like tire slime, but uh, this tire jet works really well. Let's see, uh, what happened was, there was just a little tiny crack on the sidewall. That's weather checking from sitting. And uh, it would just seep a little tiny bit of air. So put the jet tire jet on it. And uh, see if I got any. Uh, I don't think I do. I'll have to fix them up. No, I got to get a uh, valve stem cover. There was one missing off it. Apparently they had put air in it a couple times, but so it should clean up fairly well. It, it runs really good. Uh, I changed the oil in it. It's not smoking. So yeah, there we go. It will run.